We're going to give each one of you 30 seconds to tell us in summary what you want us to remember. There's, there's four roll calls on the House floor. You have 30 seconds to have something ring through our brains in the rest of this session in winter in terms of this program. We'll start with you, Mr. Wolf. Yeah, I, I would say a fully funded LAHEAP and weatherization program working together will make the difference between families not being able to afford access to electricity, natural gas and heating oil, and being able to afford it. Great. Mr. Greenspeck. Uh, we need to work with the states throughout the winter, and we have a state heating oil and propane program. We'll be tracking the prices on a weekly basis. I think there are other improvements we need to make, uh, particularly this year we've had a lot of exports of distillate fuel. It took us a while to catch up with that. Uh, that's something that I think uh, a better data program would be helpful in tracking movements of products. Great. And you have the final word, Mr. Drew. Well, to, uh, I first of all, thank you. <clears throat> and this, what we're talking about is money that's filling a hole in the face of poverty. I am glad that it's happening, but I think I want to think about an overall anti-poverty effort by, the, I hope, the new administration. I would like to just end today because I know you're busy, but we know that to put the end of the cycle of prices that drags the hardworking families and retirees to the path of economic security, your Climate and Protection Act, H.R. 6186, is the best proposal we have, have considered devote significant investments to making low-income communities and housing sustainability and affordable. It is fair, it does not waste precious resources or give away to polluters or energy Vendors. It's consistent with the fair climate changes principles the community action has developed with the National Community Action Foundation, Friends of the Earth, Public Citizens, the National Consumer Law Center. And with your permission, I would like to submit these as part of my testimony, and I wish very much to thank you very much.